In AP Physics 1, you're going to have to be able to find the area under the curve. Before we do that, let's talk about why we would want to do that. So on a velocity versus type graph, the area under the curve represents the displacement. Displacement is the change in position. Now you'll notice that this area right here is a rectangle. So we can use the equation for the area for a rectangle length times width. The length here four seconds. The width is three meters per second. And four times three is 12. Notice the seconds canceled out. That leaves us with meters and our area is 12 meters. What that tells us is that this object traveling at three meters per second for four seconds will travel 12 meters in four seconds. Now we have an object moving at a increasing velocity and we want to find out the displacement that the object travels through over four seconds. So the area under the curve is what represents the object's displacement. Notice that this area is a triangle. So we're going to use the area of a triangle to solve for the displacement. So the area of a triangle is one over two base times height. The base here is four seconds and the height is three meters per second. So one half times four is two, two times three is six. So we have six and notice the seconds cancel out. That leaves us with meters. And so the area is six meters. What does this mean? This is telling us that this object, which is moving at an increasing velocity over four seconds, travels six meters. Now we have an object that starts at two meters per second and increases in velocity over the four seconds to six meters per second. And we want to find the displacement of this object. Once again, we're going to calculate the area under the curve because that represents the displacement on a velocity first time graph. And you'll notice that on this area, we can divide it up into a rectangle on the bottom and a triangle on the top. I'm going to calculate the area of the triangle and then the area of the rectangle. And we get eight meters. And for the rectangle, we're going to use length times width. Now we're going to add these two numbers to get the total area. So the total area is 16 meters. And what that tells us is that the displacement of this object over four seconds is 16 meters. Now we have an object that's moving at constant velocity for 12 seconds at four meters per second of velocity, and then decreases to zero meters per second once it reaches 20 seconds. So we're looking for the displacement again, and we're going to look at the area of the curve. We're going to break this into a rectangle and a triangle. So whatever possible, you want to break it into basic, simple geometric shapes that you can calculate the area of. So we'll start with the rectangle. Now we're going to calculate the area of the triangle. Combining the area of the rectangle and the area of the triangle will give us the total area and we get 64 meters. So 64 meters is telling us that this object over the 20 seconds travels a displacement of 64 meters. If you want to learn more about getting ready for AP Physics 1, check out my next video on basic trig relationships.